Well, security changes are coming to Beaufort County Schools. The extra measures come after several incidents in the past involving volunteers and students. This is a story we have told you about for some time now. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Spurl joins us. He talked with school leaders about the new rules and joins us in the studio with an update. Larry. Well, Kevin and Jennifer, the new proce process is more intense this year. The first step is passing a national background test. Community Services Coordinator Megan Myers scrolls through the new application process for Beaufort County volunteers. She's in charge of weeding out the good and the bad and the old and the new for next year. Everyone who's been a volunteer in the past will ask them to go through the screening this year and that will last for a year before it expires. Myers says they are tightening things up due to a few inappropriate situations with volunteers and students in the past. The previous screening process was um, just done on a state level. That process and software did not detect the felony arrest of Bluffton High School girls basketball volunteer Alexandria Murphy. She allegedly fought with one of her players in February and other volunteers have faced recent charges for the inappropriate conduct with students. That's why the school district is changing things up. The biggest difference now is that we are screening everyone who wants to volunteer in our schools. Um, and every school is on board with that level of consistency. And also we're screening on a national level. Now, in order to become a volunteer, you have to fill out a form like this one. Also, you have to ask for approval from the district and BIB and also participate in training and orientation programs. It's very important that we have Again, the right people teaching our children. Dale Morales went to school in Beaufort County. He says he's glad the district is taking things to the next level. We need to take all measures necessary to protect our children. The district expects about 2,000 volunteers to apply for next school year. We have the link on our website, WJCL.com. All right. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, sir.